I promised you all Azalea Banks love her, love all her stuff. So you've got the brand new song out too with uh, Slim Dollars, Six Flags. Add that to your list, download it, play yep. it, buy it, whatever. Okay, so obviously um, the, the reason why we wanted to go straight to the source with Azalea is a story that has been quite big in the last couple of weeks where apparently her cat was buried and she dug up the cat. Yeah. The story goes that she cooked the cat. And I heard ate it. Yeah, I said bullshit. But I don't, no know, I don't know. I don't know. No one's doing that. Well, let's go straight to Azalea, who's on Zoom now. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. How are you? Thanks hun? for thanks for calling me. You're yeah. welcome. I'm very well today. That's great. You look amazing. Fantastic to have you on. Now, Thank I you. heard you've seen this all over the internet. This rubber. We saw you digging the catter. I felt for you because I'm an animal lover. Love animals. I've got animals buried all over my properties. Cows, donkeys, bloody horses, cats, dogs, chickens, everything. You name it, I've got them dead. Uh, so, Azalea... Well, yeah, that sounds like you're a very irresponsible... No, no, this is over many causes. years. Many, yeah. Yeah, I'm natural not just, causes. Yeah, natural causes. Azalea. You keep your animals for a while and you love them, you bury them. Now, Azalea, has def- you definitely dug this cat up. Now, it's bullshit. You didn't eat it. That's not true, right? That's rubbish. Absolutely not. No, I didn't eat the cat. <laughs> and I, I personally you. would not eat a cat that's been bred dead for three months. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, this so you a... did you did dig it up, though, and did you boil it? Yes, and that's, that's part of taxidermy. Um, I don't know what you think happens when you go to a medical school and you see a full skull or you see a full skeleton there. Yeah. Uh, it's the same thing that happens. Uh, if, if you check on your card, the driver's license to be an organ donor, it's not, they're not just picking out a healthy heart and picking out a healthy liver. They are dissecting every part of your body and selling it. Um, there are lots of scientific research websites where you can actually buy human skulls like this one. You've got one there? You're going to show us one. Oh, my God, yeah. you've got a skull there. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> That's amazing. I got it from theboneroom.com, and this is actually the skull of... A six-year-old girl who died from head trauma. Wow! And you can buy bones. Because I love, I love bones. I respect the afterlife. I don't think that. I think that that bone, the bone, is where the energy holds for the person. You know. Um, And with my cat, it didn't feel right. Like once he got sick, um, and I had spent a lot of money, like. Like he had a he had a kidney issue when I was when I first got him when I was eighteen I didn't really know, you know, that you're supposed to feed the cat real meat. Right. I just thought you know you go get some kibbles and bits and some kitty litter and the cat will be fine. And um, yeah, the, my cat pretty much died from like a a poor diet. Uh, I remember he got sick and he had a, a kidney stone. And he was on an IV for a couple weeks. And then, yeah, like things things were good for a while. We switched him to this like kidney diet. Um, There's like this like prescription, like prescription cat food. And, he didn't and make, they didn't make he, it though, he didn't pull through. No, he well, he, he did well for four years. Oh, I can the, the new kidney food. And then, unfortunately, he passed. And when it was coming down to it, and I was like realizing, like, shit, my cat's dying. I had to kind of make the decision of whether or not I was going to pay some veterinarian to shoot him up with the drug, kill him, and then incinerate him and throw him in a pile with a bunch of other dead cats. You know, I just, I didn't, I couldn't, I wasn't comfortable doing that. Sure. So. I let him die peacefully at home and buried him. And I, yeah, I, I dug him up to get his skull so that I could clean it off and have it. And forever. have it, and has it, have, have it as a, a memento, as a memory of the, of yeah. the cat's life. Yeah. So there was no eating. Where, how did they come up with the fact that you ate it? Because when you put it on, I think when you start cooking a cat, people jump to conclusions, oh, but don't she was they? just boiling it, but, doing the taxidermy <laughs> thing. That makes yeah. much more exactly. sense. Exactly. You do, that's how you do taxidermy. And, I mean, you know, American hunting culture, when you go into any 
you know, any hotel lobby in the Catskills, there are deer heads. Yeah. That have been taxidermied. That's right. And they're hanging off the wall. You know, um, I think I think there's 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 something really weird about humanity and which animals we choose to save or which animals we choose are valuable and which animals we choose are not valuable. That's mm. so true. How do you just how do you make that decision? Some people consider certain animals pests and too many of them that need to be and culled. Some trophies and, and some. Yeah. I like, I, I, I'm not a. I'm. I don't mind a bit of taxidermy. Like, I've seen some manky ones, you know, in second-hand shops where they're like, the eyes are a bit bunged. <laughs> and you think, oh, that's a shit, that's that's a shit a job, job, that one. That's a yeah. But some of these, especially if it's your pet, I know people that, I know a guy who taxidermied his little dog and carries it around with him. The dog's been dead for 15 years. He carries oh. it around. That that would scare me. Um, <laughs> like, a stuffed pet, like my stuffed cat, like, with its eyes, like, that would scare the shit out of me. Yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, you know... I'll dig them out. I'll get the skull off, and what are you going to do know, with it? What are you doing with the skull? Have you got plans? Well, the the skull, the skull. Now I have it just it's it's just you know there. Yeah. I did. I boiled it, and then you have to do a peroxide bath to get the dirt and the like flesh and fur off of the bone. Oh, this seems and more difficult than making meth. This is a real process. Uh, this stuff. Yeah, it's it's, it's a process. Um, so after the peroxide bath. I have his mandible here, which I'm gonna get made into ear cuffs. Sorry, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What, what is that? Is that is that the jaw, the, the bottom jaw of the cat? Yeah, it's his bottom jaw. And you want them into earrings? Yeah, I'm gonna have these um, coated in titanium and made into ear cuffs. Oh, oh they're sick ear cuffs, really. Wow. That no one else has got. They look great. Very inventive idea. So you're a creative yeah. soul. You're a great artist. Uh, and you're creative through and through. So not only are you great at rapping, singing, being an artist, being a music person, but now also making earrings out of dead animals. <laughs> that's a that's a that's a quite a skill. I mean, I mean, there there are lots of people who you know they they wear ebony jewelry and I mean like ivory jewelry, yeah, you know, and pearls. You know what what do you think happens to Oh, we lost her. Oh, she's back. Oh, she's back. Sorry, we had a freeze there. We froze for a second. It. So sorry, I was see, just saying about pearls. You know, what do you think happens to the to the clam or or the oyster once you get the pearl out? It dies. You're right. You're totally right. Do you eat or oyster? Are you a vegan or vegetarian or anything? Or I'm a vegetarian. I do. I'm mostly plant based. But I do still take fish oil supplement and I do still eat whole milk yogurt because I think the probiotic value is just too high for me yeah. to give it up. Um, and I still wear leather. Yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how, like, how else do people think the leather is getting on their shoes? Like, sure, there's some leather that's a byproduct of the agricultural industry. But, you know, when you get these fancy leathers, like your, your snakeskin purse and all of that, like, trust me, that snake is getting gutted alive that's true you you're know? right when, yeah. you, when you get your fox fur trim on your beautiful coat that fox was electrocuted yeah that's so true and yeah. his skin while he was seizing and your cat died of natural causes and you're just preserving yeah. the memory in your own unique special uh, way and that's up to you you can do that exactly. there was stu there was stuff about you being you know there, 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 are, there are people who have urns with their family members sitting on the mantle yeah you know like I don't, I don't want to hear about eating a cat. <laughs> you know, no, I reckon right. the Crazy. reason it got to that also is because it came out around the same time as the Army Hammer cannibal stories and oh, it was just convenient right. to go, oh, look, Azalea Banks is also weird. Um, have You're you right. Been, have you been following? I don't, I, don't know, I don't know who Arnie Hammer is. He's some um, actor and uh, oh. he's blown up lately. He's an American actor. Yep. Apparently he was telling his ex-girlfriends, oh, I want to, you know, eat your ribs and, you know, drink He's your blood. He's admitted and, to being a cannibal. Or you, know, those, you, you would have met those blokes like that, you know, you know, the really whack ones, you know. Actors. Actors. <laughs> actors. Exactly what we I said. They're all weird. Never date an actor. Never. They're always actors. No matter how good they look, they're weird. Right? Yes, yes. <laughs> You're spot on there. Hey, uh, the new song is great. Are we going to get a whole uh, record from you? Really cool. Those earrings are going to be yes, huge. Yes, obsessed. Yeah. We're going to get yeah. a full album from you as well. Uh, what, what, what are you doing, music? Because you're non-stop with the music, right? 
Yeah, nonstop with the music. Uh, an album, you see, nowadays when you have kind of everything working against you, like people thinking that you're eating cats <laughs> and stuff like that, it's a, it's a really big investment to make an album and then still not be able to tour it and you're still right. kind of be fighting against the fact that people think that I'm a cat eater. Yeah. So at Pussy right eater is one thing. A cat eater, a completely different thing, right? I, I've never eaten a cat. I've eaten a pussy before, mm. but I've same, never same eaten thing. a cat. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know about that. But, um, <laughs> but yeah, even Jackie, even Jackie you've, you've dabbled too, haven't you, Jackie? So I'm not even part of this conversation. Oh, right. I'm I just think an I observer. feel that she's dabbled no. as well. Not just you and me doing that, but I think she's what she's very shy though. She's one of those, you know, the down keep it on the down low sort of chicks. She's one of them. <laughs> yeah, she's uh, looks all uh, butter and sweet, but mm, there's some filth in there. I can tell. Well, that's just your. Yeah, that's you're right. Just it's only 20 that. years of sitting opposite her. I've, I think I know her. You know? Can you <laughs> see her? Can you see Jackie? Look at her. She looks, <laughs> yeah, looks innocent, but you know. Yeah, see, she is only a nose. She's no idiot. What? No. She can tell. You guys are a mess. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, You're thank right. God. Thank God. Because <laughs> uh, we, we, these things pop up about you. Being a witch, you and the Russell Crowe thing, you and the cat. Most of this is just blown up media rubbish. And if you want to know Azalea, get on, Google her, follow her, buy her stuff, stream her gear. Uh, thanks so talented. much for zooming in this morning, Azalea. Good to set the record straight. You look amazing. Uh, keep the music coming, okay? It's frozen again. It's frozen again. Yeah, yeah that's, that's right. okay. We'll She's let there. it go. She's great. Um, She's wonderful. I love her. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to take your last <laughs> calls and a round of our news is on the way. What up, what up? Push, follow, Kyle and Jackie O on all your...